hey guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be replacing the cabin air filter on a g30 this is the part number we're going to be using and just a quick reference i want you to pay attention to the way the micro filter looks especially this top part right here how it has that angle more on that later first step we're going to do is go ahead and put your vehicle into an ignition mode and set the recirculation mode on turn the fan speed to the lowest setting there's a air flap inside the air box that needs to open if we don't do this there is a really good chance that we can damage one of the air flaps on the inside of the air box so this is very very important make sure this light is on fan speed to the lowest setting so first step we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to undo the two clips at the bottom just turn them counterclockwise and it will fall down just slightly once that happens you can go ahead and just remove the rest by hand just give it a quick tug pull it back there's only going to be one connector there's no clip on this connector so just grab it with your hand and pull backwards once you got the one connector off just go ahead and put the whole panel to the side and now we can see the air box housing you're gonna have two screws, T20 size. And this is where these screws are located. You're only gonna have two. I recommend that we use a socket and not a screwdriver with a T20 because the clearance between the air box and the carpet is kind of small. And I would recommend that you don't use a power tool. Just use a T20 and a ratchet, remove them by hand. Once you got the both screws out, there's going to be a clip on the right side next to the fuse box. Just go ahead and undo it like this and it should just fall off. There's also another one on the left side. It's going to be removed in the same way. So just get your hand in there and remove it. And now you can just pull the whole cover down and set it to the side. So now we can reach in and remove the old filter. One thing to note, notice that curve at the top, that angle, this is it. We want to go ahead and install it with the angle at the top. So just as it was removed, angle at the top, and you're going to want to slide it up. Once you get the filter inside, if your filter comes down just like this, it's not all the way in. So go ahead and give it a quick push. You'll hear kind of a clip and it's going to hold itself in place. That's how you know it's installed correctly. Next, the cover. You're going to want to line up two pins and two holes. This is where the pins are going to be located. One on the left, one on the right. And these pins are going to go into two holes of the cover, which are located right here. This is the pin on the hole on the left side, and then the hole on the right side is right here. So just line up these pins to the holes, and then you're just going to put in the clips. One on the left, you'll hear a clip in, and then one on the right. Once you got your clips back in, go ahead and install the two T20 screws. Pay attention to how much torque is going into this. It's not much. Now again, I recommend you don't use electric tools. I've done this many times, so I know exactly when to stop. Just use your hand tools and you will not strip out those threads. Once it comes to an end stop, you're pretty much good right there. Don't go any further. Next is to put on the connector back onto the bottom panel. You'll hear one click and then this wire harness clips into the bottom panel as well. Now to put in the bottom panel may be a little tricky. There's going to be a hanger on the left side and the right side and it's going to go into the hole right here on the bottom panel. It's not as difficult as it may seem. Once you kind of get them into position, you'll, know, you'll see that it's not that hard. 
So you're going to want to line them up, one on the left, and then line up the one on the right. You'll see the hanger right there. So this is the hanger. And the hole that needs to slide into is right down here. So kind of just get them in place. Make sure you have a light so you can see because it's kind of darker under here. And then once you kind of got them in place, just push it forward. And then you can come under and verify that they've actually gone into the slots they're supposed to. There's the left and here's the right. Once you've verified that they've gone into the correct hangers, all you need to do is just put in these two pins and turn them clockwise. Now these pins uh, can only go in one way, so I want you to pay attention on this right side right here. I'm showing you exactly that that pin can only go in one way. So if you go in sideways, it won't turn in. So just be mindful of that. Put your flathead screwdriver and watch the pin here. It goes into a slot right here. Push in hard. You'll hear a kind of a click and then just turn it clockwise. And you'll feel that it's gonna lock into place right there. And that's it. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If I helped you save some money, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.